It's always been a top program throughout the nation, and having Dave Shoji as their coach, I heard great things about him. And I wanted to play for somewhere with that sort of caliber. And I knew the kind of support it gained from the islands and how big it was over here, and I just knew where somewhere I wanted to go. I just thought that it'd be a good experience to get away from home and just kind of mature, grow up, be on my own and see how it would be for me. Once I heard about Hawaii, I, I was really interested. I was like, okay, they're a great school, great team, like great program. I was like, I'm really interested. So Scott called me, I got on a plane like the next weekend and came out on a visit and I just, I fell in love with it. Um, I was looking for somewhere warm. I didn't really want to go anywhere cold. When Hawaii had said that they were interested in me, I came over when I was on vacation in Maui and just loved it here. As being a ball girl, I looked up to all the players that um, were in the program. Um, just watching Kanai Kamanao, Lili Kahumoku. I wanted to be one of them. So for me to wear the jersey now is, is an awesome experience. Doing my research on, on the program, you know, Dave is a huge legend here. He's a great coach, obviously. And, a lot of All-Americans and Olympians have come out of this program and he's had a line of really good setters in Kanoi and Danny and Robin. And so it made it really easy to make this decision. You know, I didn't even look around that much. I knew in high school that one of my options would be Hawaii. And it was easy to go back and kind of reevaluate and see what I wanted. And after talking to Dave and hearing more about the program and stuff, it was an easy decision to come here. It's crazy kind of reflecting on the past four years how fast they've gone by. But I think slowly I've um, developed into a better, stronger volleyball player and student athlete person as well. And I think um, a lot of thanks goes to the team, teammates and the coaching staff. They help kind of uh, mold you into that person you're becoming. Yeah, it was quite a journey, and I loved every minute of the experience. I felt like it was just yesterday, my freshman year, when Dave got his thousandth win. We were celebrating, and it's like this year he had, he's like the most winningest coach, and we celebrated that, and it just took me back to like freshman year when he got his thousandth win. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is like, like almost coming to an end. It's like unreal. It's definitely gone by quick. It's like uh, just yesterday I was coming here for the first day and not knowing what to expect necessarily, but it's, gone, it's crazy how fast time goes. I think I've learned a lot of patience here um, and how to be more independent, I think. It's helped me grow up a lot and it's helped me become, I think, a better person all around and not only a better person, but a better athlete as well. I think being surrounded by all of the people here, I mean, everyone's just amazing, so I think that the intensity in the gym and everyone, the work ethic, I mean, it pushes me each and every day to just be the best player in person I can be. Every game, we, we think about our fans, you know, they help us, they're our seventh player, and I think that being in this program, just being a part of that is just so special. and Just so much love and support that we get from our fans, and like, we get recognized even outside of of the arena and they're like oh you guys look so different in regular clothes and like oh you're much taller than you look on the TV and I'm like oh gosh but I mean I just I did just that like I just like I feel like like I'm famous or something like, I don't think I would get that anywhere else. You carry with you a lot of pride wearing that Hawaii on the back of your jersey. You represent not only your team and the university, but the entire state of Hawaii. You know, not being part of a program for four years, some people might think it's hard to understand kind of the legacy that's been left, but I think that that's something that's easy here to be caught up, caught up to speed on. And that's something that I just think has been incredible. You know, I think it's, it, you don't get an opportunity all the time to be a rainbow wahine and it's, it's just an amazing feeling to play in front of these fans and a part of this program that has such a legacy. I love my team, especially the chemistry that we have together. Um, I've never been on a team that blended so well. Our team was really close this year and we had great chemistry and it was just a lot of fun. I've made great friends here um, who I'll know for the rest of my life. I'll probably miss the competition. Being competitive with a team and girls that love the same sport, I'll probably miss. I think what I'll miss most here, playing for the university, 
would have to be um, all my teammates, the staff, the fans, especially playing in front of a crowd like that. I don't think it'll ever be the same. My teammates, the bonds that all of us have made. You know, it's connections that you really can't form anywhere else outside of volleyball. I would say my teammates and my coaches. We have a lot of like, yeah, like there's a lot of serious times where we're like going over plays and you know, like doing technical stuff and skill work. But I mean, in between there, like during water breaks and stuff, we're always like making jokes and laughing and then the road trips are always fun. I think I'm just gonna miss things like that. From traveling to practices to just all the memories that have been made throughout my five years in college. I mean, from ASU to here, it's just, I've made so many lifelong friends and I've learned so much about myself and about other people and just about respect and it, it's just I don't think there's just one thing I think it's multiple things that have made up this experience that I'm for sure gonna miss. It was a nice journey um, just coming home and then being able to play for this program I think each year was was special. I'm really thankful that I finished as a Rainbow Wahine. You know I feel blessed that I've had the opportunity to play here and under like I said, incredible coaches with great teammates, with, you know, I've made some new best friends and I've made friends that I'm sure will be there for as long as I can imagine. Uh, it's just been an incredible experience.